Hi everyone, today I am going to be unboxing a few things for the garden. I have received my frost cover. I wanted to open this here together with you guys so you see how it comes in the box. And I also got a Joni seed order and I'm going to explain a bit more about that in a minute. Let's open this green stock cover first. So I had to take my first frost cover off of my planters because we had a uh, couple days with really warm weather this week but the plants are doing beautifully <laughs> they i feel like they just grew a little bit on this past few days with the help of some more warmth and also i think we have a bit more sunlight in here since most of the leaves of this maple tree here have fell i was happy to see the growth on those and i am planning to put this frost cover on next week because it is going to start getting a little bit cooler again for us you know in the fall is usually common for the temperatures to oscillate like that so here is how the frost cover comes it's so pretty i love that they actually still put this ribbon the first one that i have bought also came like this and it's so pretty just like a nice gift and the boxes always come with stuff if you guys have ordered the things from Greenstock, you know that they always send some free goodies and I always love to see it. Oh my gosh, look at this sticker pack. I love stickers and I always show you guys the stickers that I get. I'm going to get a little closer. The first one is so cute. Look at this. This nice honeycomb with a honeybee. Let me get the other ones. Let me show. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a whole thing. That's amazing. They got so many. So here's the first one, honeybee. We got some strawberry glasses, some peppers, different ones from the ones I they used to send before, which is good. Nice watermelon. Oh, very cute green stock. One and some cool beans, cherry tomatoes and beautiful lavender. I don't know why I like stickers so much, but I always did since I was a kid. I always liked getting them. They also sent this big envelope, usually with instructions for the planter. This one, let me see what's in here. There are some instructions as well. So they always come with this and tells you what you can plant and each kind, in each planter and pockets and etc. Let me see if they change anything. Yeah, and they also have instructions on how to feel. That's great. Lots of people ask me questions about that stuff, so it's always good to know that you can, if you get the planter, you get all of that explained to you. And usually they send free seeds, so there's a little thank you card. Oh, wow, and I, had, I got some winter time. How cool is that? Maybe we'll sow some today. I don't know. Oh, it says, dear, after all danger of frost is passed. Okay, so maybe have to wait for this for next spring. Here it is, that's all the things that came with the frost cover. And let me open it for you guys here. You probably have been watching the videos, you've seen me using my older ones already, but if this is the first time, here is how it looks. I gotta put the boxes in here now. And if it's the whole green stock, I'm gonna go farther. Oh, it's so nice when they're brand new like this and nicely folded. That's beautiful. I should fold my like this. So that's how it looks. And I have my other one here. Look at this. That I took it off. It's two years old. I should learn how to fold this better. So it's good to see how it's decaying in a package like this. So it can also last longer. I want to make sure these guys last as long as that's possible because I plan to keep gardening with the spiders for a while and hopefully many years to come. So here it is. Pretty big. It can actually fit two planters without the support if you don't have big things growing in it. But for now, because my plants are big, I'm planning to actually cover them with the plant supports and use the one for the whole planter. And I actually got this cross cover Oops. to cover this green stock. So just so you guys can see it in case you missed my video that I was covering this one when we got the frost warning. I'm going to put this on, on this because this is the one that I want to protect over the winter with this one. I have some spinach and lettuce and things that I hope that it can overwinter. And this rosemary here too, some herbs. So just put it on. This is the plant support that I have put to prepare for this. 
There you go. Wow, it's a nice brand new. <laughs> and the zipper, it's in the bottom. So it makes it easier to check on it from the top. Once you need it, just open. If you need to open on a warm day, but don't want to take the whole cover off. So that's it. We have a new frost cover and our previous one. I guess I will cover this other one too, so this doesn't stay in the ground. And it's going to get a little cold this weekend anyway, so might as well just put it up also the nasturtium here is looking so good just to make sure that I'm not damaging it with the cover let's leave it open so that we can see the nasturtium and I will cover later tonight oh it's a little moth there we go. Now we're going to open our second package that I got from Joni's. And this one is kind of special because it's for something that I have never really tried before. We are starting a brand new garden next year. We have a lot of grass and we have to kind of prepare this space to be able to plant. And I was thinking what I could do with it because I have made a no dig raised bed with some cardboard and compost just lay down the cardboards that we had from our move and then we got some compost for free from some friends so i did that and i'm planning to actually do a second one so stay tuned for that <laughs> right next to it i have enough compost and cardboard for that but i can't just do too much of it like i think the second one might be my last one that i can do and then i'll have I was thinking what else can i do to prepare more space for more planting next year so i decided to go with some cover crops I wanted to do a lot of no-till if possible. I don't want to have to go take that grass off, lift it up, then till the soil and then plant new things because that does a lot of damage to the microorganisms and the life in the soil there. And even though our soil seems to be very rocky and heavy on clay, an initial till could help with that. Just do one till and then add some compost and from the other years stop tilling. But I, we don't have a tiller. <laughs> and I don't really want to deal with rocky soil. We don't have experience with that, so I was thinking what could be an easier way to do it. And I decided to buy some cover crop seeds and I didn't realize they're gonna be so big in this package here. But I also don't want to have to lift the grass to put this cover crop, so I'm going to try something new <laughs> that I've never tried before, but I did watch some people on YouTube doing it and I'm gonna see if it's going to work for us for the garden. It's something that might be a little unusual, but it's worth to try, so. I'm going to try to seed a cover crop right on top of our grass and see if they'll germinate and at least put some root growth for next year because since our soil is actually very compacted at the moment, I looked for cover crops that have very thick and uh, big root systems that it can just penetrate the soil and are good with compaction. So the first one that I got, that's the biggest one, I got one pound of tillage radish. So this it's basically a daikon radish, it's a variety of daikon radish, Japanese radish, that has really long white roots and it's great for tilling and breaking down very heavy clay naturally. So I decided to go with that and see how it's gonna go. It's supposed to be very winter hardy. So I'm going to seed this right now. We're still at the end of October. And even though we did kind of had a frost warning, we didn't really have a frost because things didn't really die the next 10 day forecast still looks really good we are going to get to the mid 30s on monday but i still think that will be okay and then it's going to warm it up a little bit more and hopefully this gas will germinate and if they can put at least a little bit of root in there that would be already excellent for us but i'm not going to use the whole pack i bought some other things to mix it up with it too so i'm mixing that up with some winter rye so this is supposed to also be extremely cold hardy and i read on the website that it can be sown by the end of October. So we're gonna do that too and hope that it gets established and have those roots start breaking down the soil for us a little bit. Even if it kind of goes dormant and it starts growing back again in the spring, I'm okay with that. I just wanted to make sure we add some more life to the soil there too. I have dug under the grass and the grass has very shallow roots and underneath is just a lot of rocks and looks like bare soil. So I wanted something that has 
deeper roots that can penetrate and infiltrate in there and start you know kind of breaking down the soil and making it a little healthier and better for next year okay so that was the radish and this was the rye and i also bought some few peas which is supposed to also be really cold hardy since i'm a little bit late on the game i looked for the things that are very cold tolerant and could still germinate with our low temperatures and these ones are also edible actually all of this is edible which is interesting but this daikon radish we could eat them in the spring if they don't get winter killed which i don't think we will because we are zone seven and this is supposed to tolerate a lot more cold than that so we'll see what happens but i'd love to harvest a bunch of daikon to make things or something or pickle ferment on the late winter and spring but the field peas are also the tendrils and the leaves are also edible so we can you know go out there and pick some little things here and there to add to our salads and some dishes over the winter as well most likely on the spring because i have a feeling these might sprout and go dormant through the winter and then start growing back again in the spring which is fine because i don't think that i'm going to be planting anything there until probably april or may and i also have some hairy vetch inside already from some that i had grown at the plot back in new york city and it flowered this year and went to seeds so i collected a bunch of the seeds i might throw some in there with this mix as well i wanted to buy some clover but unfortunately they were sold out so this is what i have and what i'm going to try to be doing this winter but i also hoarded a couple extra seeds because i was afraid that they're gonna sell out i decided to buy two varieties of snapdragons because i looked through my seeds real quick and i saw that i only have a couple packets of snapdragons left and i wanted to plant a lot more this year so i got two more varieties that i'm very excited about so this one is called monaco orange and this is supposed to be a group three snapdragon on the website said that's great for summer production as well because snapdragons usually like the cold so I'm gonna try this out and see how it does. And then I also got this other one that's called Avignon Apricot 2. So this one is supposed to be, I think, a, a group two, which is flowers a little earlier than group three. So a little like more like late spring, I guess. And it's great for low light and short day production. So hopefully we'll be get some of this in the spring, maybe early spring, not late spring. And one of the ones I have at home, it's a Madame Butterfly one, which is a group one. So that one flowers first. So I thought to get two more that sort of staggers the harvest so I can have more flowers in the garden next year. So we're gonna do the Madame Butterfly Bronze with White, I believe is the one I have inside. It's going to flower first. Then we're gonna have this Avignon Apricot 2, which I believe used to be called Costa Apricot. And then following that, it's gonna be this beautiful Monaco Orange with these more bright summer colors. And that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Marty and I'm not gardening Queens, New York City anymore. <laughs> Okay, one more time. Hello everyone. If you're new here, my name is Mari and today I am going to be unboxing a few things for the garden. I have received a couple packages. You know, Paul, it's always this sort of fluctuation, flux, sort of this, you know, in the fall is kind of common. Fall in the fall is...